We can't always name the single individual who set us on the road to a life career, but Bernard Cassavant can. It was his encouraging grandmother. Says Chef Bernard, she instilled in me my work ethic and drive, my passion for respecting food and the people who produce it. Born in Port Alberni, Bernard started as a cook at a local hotel, later graduated as top student from the Malaspina Culinary Arts Program, and a decade later, a certified chef de cuisine, among the first in Canada to complete the exam. In 1991, Chef Bernard was the first Canadian-born chef to represent Canada at the Bocuse d'Or. He has served his industry well, a charter member of Farm Folk, City Folk, a judge for the BC Apprenticeship Trade Certification Exams, director at large for the BC RFA, member of the Okanagan Chefs Association, and much more. He was executive chef at the Canadian Club at Expo 86, the same at the Delta Mountain Inn and the Chateau Whistler. He was chef owner of his own place, Chef Bernard's also in Whistler. He has cooked for everyone from Princess Diana to Liberace, Margaret Thatcher to John Travolta. Today, Chef Bernard and his wife Bonnie operate the Sonora Room restaurant at Borrowing Owl Estate Winery in Oliver. From the back of the house, we welcome Chef Bernard Cassavant to the BC Restaurant Hall of Fame. Introducing Bernard Casavan of the Sonora Room for the back of house, he's Rod Butters. I know the Canucks just got eliminated from the uh, playoffs, but I want you in front of 500 plus people here to tell everybody who is your truest hockey team, what's in your blood. Do well, it. Well, it was back a few years ago, but I think it's from Whistler. I think it's the old timers, the team that I played for. I'm pretty sure they're pretty dear to me. So. I don't know. <laughs> say it, say it. Okay, Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Bonnie was telling me a story when you were working at the Hyatt and you were the, uh, the truffle chef that uh, you were bragging about your meat cutting and charcuterie skills and uh, Alain Daniel, uh, I guess, owned a, a rabbit farm, so he uh, brought you in a live rabbit. And uh, I guess the story goes that Chef Bernard was just a little bit intimidated by this live rabbit. So he uh, put it on his bike, he didn't want to kill it in the kitchen, he put it on his bike and a motorcycle. Yeah, on his motorcycle, <laughs> in his Dairyland crate, and took it home. So my question is, what ever happened to that rabbit? Well, um, after my wife comes, Bonnie, comes booting back upstairs and said, there's somebody in the kitchen, because <laughs> the box was bouncing around the kitchen floor. <laughs> but we uh, actually processed that poor little bunny, and we did eat it. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, so. And I, I know you have a, a very long speech ahead of you here, and we're going to uh, take you over to the podium with, uh, with uh, the wonderful Colleen Christie, but I just want to uh, I want to say a few names here. Bless, Blair Rasmussen, Greg Hook, Michael Noble, Jeffrey Cooper, Chris Mills, Peter Zambri, Tim May, Ben Weber, John Clark, Andrew Springett, Ray Henry, Mel O'Brien, Myself. Rodney Butters. I don't know about that. <laughs> and the list goes on and on and on. The, the people that you have mentored in this province has been absolutely astounding. And I think I speak on behalf of your family that's here, Bonnie and Christopher and Steph, your family, your friends, uh, all of us in the industry. The Hall of Fame was created for individuals like you. Oh, thank you. You will always... Thank you. You will always be my friend, and you will always be my chef. Thank you. Everyone, please welcome Bernard Casavan to the Hall of Fame. Good evening. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Butters, that long-winded uh, thank you note there. Um, obviously, it, this business, as the other people have set up here, it, it's about the people. 
Um, great food, great techniques, and good if not great staff. I absolutely couldn't be here without uh, the staff that have supported me over the years. And uh, of course, without my lady, my wife, uh, my partner in life and business, Bonnie, uh, my lady of 31 years plus, and our exceptional kids. Yeah, I'm a patient man, can you tell? Yeah? <laughs> and of course, my ex our exceptional kids, our son Chris and our daughter Stephanie, and uh, extended family, all my aunties and uncles who uh, looked at this young boy leaving Port Alberni, 17 years old, and they uh, accepted what I was doing for a living. They sure didn't understand it, because I don't think I quite understand it yet, so. But, um, and all my culinary family, I mean, they're a ton. I mean, as Roddy alluded to, there's uh, so many people that have been out there, and a special note, of course, is uh, um, Rachel and Michael Compass. They're here tonight, they're very dear to us, and uh, you know, my sister Shawnee, and all my aunties and uncles and everybody, so. Just wanted to raise the grass and cheers. Here's the continued success of BC Tourism. <laughs> Salute.